Hey dinosaurs, we are now at the basement dino dungeon and today we are doing a Brachiosaurus versus the long neck dinosaur collection, okay? And check this out, we have a newly repainted Brachiosaurus, still work in progress, but let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's get started right over here. So I'm basically going to place all our Brachiosaurus on the right hand side versus our other sauropods. Sauropods are basically long neck dinosaurs and our very first Brachiosaurus of the day is actually this Jurassic Park 3 Brachiosaurus. And Brachiosaurus, the name means the arm lizard because the two front legs are actually longer than the hind legs and when you press this button it will roar it's pretty incredible let's place this brachiosaurus right over here and right over here we have three jurassic world captive eggs which we are going to open right now because we are still in the search for the new connotators bumpy and um charlie you know, you guys, if you have followed me, we have basically opened at least like 30 different, you know, all this slimy eggs, but we have still yet to get, um, check this out guys, it's really, really slimy, but that is okay, okay, we're just taking a pause, you know, from the Brachiosaurus long neck dinosaurs collections to take a look at what we've got for this. And once again, we didn't get our Carnotaurus. We basically get our Sinoceratops again. Okay guys, so basically this is the Sinoceratops little figurine which you guys may have already seen this, okay? But let's take a look at what's behind. Basically, we have the Legacy Collection of Petasaurus which we have got a couple of weeks back and right on the right hand side is our Work in progress, okay, it's not completed yet. This is far from being completed. But come back on Saturday, this will be ready to be showcased to you guys. We have the Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus. I am going to repaint it into a level 40 Brachiosaurus. This is just a base coat. There are plenty of areas which we are, you know, we have yet to paint. But that's okay, okay? Okay, next up, let's take a look at more sauropods. What is this sauropod right over here? I want you guys to name this for me, okay? I'm gonna place it right over here. We will come back to this later on. This is a very tall sauropod from PNSO, okay? Next up, I'm gonna show you guys another sauropod. This is actually a Diplodocus, okay? This is a figure from Safari LTD and Diplodocus actually means double beam. Do you guys know why? It is because on the underside of the tail, there are actually two chaperone bones, okay? So this is a, this is why it is named as a, um, I mean, this is why the name means double beam. I'm gonna place this right over here. And I really love sauropods. What about you guys? Do you guys prefer carnivores or herbivores? Do let me know down below. Next up, you know, to be really honest, we don't really have a lot of um, Brachiosaurus from Mattel. But we do have two other sauropods from Mattel. And these two are known as Mazarus. That's right. And they are actually known as a mouse lizard. It's quotes for you guys to scan in your Jurassic World Facts app. And the reason why the name means mouse lizard is because when the fossils were found, they were like very small, I think. Like, you know, which is why they were known as mouse lizard. You know, something along that line. Okay, I'll place it right over here. But we need to have more Brachiosaurus. And I have one fantastic Brachiosaurus figure to show you guys. And this is definitely one of my most favorite figure from Schleich. That's right, beautifully crafted, very well detailed. You can see the Brachiosaurus has this little nice hump right on top of his head. So this is the symbol which you can easily recognize a Brachiosaurus, okay? I'll place this right over here. What is your most favorite sauropod? please let me know down below. I'm gonna show you guys plenty of sauropods. They are all lying on the floor right over here, okay? And right at this corner as well. So we have plenty of sauropods to show you guys today and two more eggs to open. All right, next up, what is this guys? What is this? Amagosaurus. Do you guys remember the Amagosaurus from Mattel? Do you guys remember that? Okay, 
is right over here so i think you guys should be able to recognize this versus this Ermagasaurus is actually known as the Ermagas lizard okay this is the doer attack Ermagasaurus right over here this is really cool you know initially when i saw this sauropod i thought this was like a fairy tale kind of um you know dragon but in fact this is an actual dinosaur two motions one trigger the neck and one triggers the tail okay Ermagas lizard i'm just gonna place it right over here and this is a beautiful 2019 figure, I think. It should be a 2019 figure from Safari LTD. Oh, it's actually a 2018. So time flies. All right, beautiful. You can see the spikes right over here. You know, there could be a um, sail, but we are not too sure. So the one from Mattel actually has a sail right at the back. Next up, let's take a look at another Brachiosaurus figure, shall we? Let me try to find one. Okay, this is another Brachiosaurus figure from uh, Mojo. I'm just gonna place it right over here. And another different sauropod, but I have no idea what this is. I think this is a Dexia Titan. Let's take a look. Yes, Dexia Titan should be known as the Thas. Um, Dexia um, Lizard should be discovered in China. So this is really beautiful, really tall looking. Um, little figure right over here. Okay, before we proceed with more straw pots, I think let's open up another rack. Okay, shall we? Shall we do this? Let's open up this together. All right, this is the egg right over here. Let's get the slime out. Oh my goodness, as slimy as you can get. This is really, really gooey. I think we've got yet another Sinoceratops. This is so disappointing. Shall we open this or shall we just keep it in the bag? Let's just keep it in the bag, okay? Okay, more sorrow parts right over here. This two, are you guys able to guess the name of these two sorrow parts? I don't think so. They are pretty unknown. First one right here is actually known as a Nigerosaurus, okay? This was actually discovered in this um republic of niger yes that's right nigerosaurus right written right below very very cool just gonna place it right over here and what about this this is also another dinosaur discovered in africa this is known as maliwas malawisaurus i beg your pardon okay so beautiful you can take a look the stripes across the body and also some armor so the body is covered with like you know pebble like structure which you know can form a protective covering from you know for its body against predators so very very cool as well all right let's take a look at more more um, brachiosaurus this one is my most favorite brachiosaurus um one of my most favorite i must say okay definitely one of the best looking Brachiosaurus figurines out there. This is actually a um, Pepo, um, a Patosaurus. I mean, not a Patosaurus, Brachiosaurus. What a majestic Brachiosaurus. Just, just gonna place it right over here. Next up, more Brachiosaurus. I'm gonna show you guys this little version of um, the Brachiosaurus. I think you should have seen this before. This is actually from the mini blind bags. Looks pretty amazing. I'll place it right over here and it's time for us to take a look at more you know sauropods. parts and this one right here is actually known as a brontosaurus brontosaurus the name means thunder lizard yes that's right you know initially you know paleontologists thought you know brontosaurus was actually an apatosaurus but you know they concluded that the brontosaurus is actually a species of its own so it's pretty cool Next up, a gigantic sauropod right over here. Just check this out, guys. This is really huge. This is the Huanghe Titan, okay? And this was discovered in China as well. The Huanghe um, giant, I think, that what the name means. It's basically an enormous figure from PNS, so you can even see the top of its body. It contains like you no know, pebble-like structure, very similar to um, um, the Brontosaurus and um, you know some other sauropods. Just take a look at how gorgeous this figure is, and take a look at those toe claws. Really huge, powerful. 
you know, I need to dust some dust off from this, you know, huge sauropods. But basically, take a look at our massive long neck dinosaur collection. Impressive, right? Next up, what is this? If you ask me right now, I am not able to remember the name, but I think this could be an Ampelosaurus. Let's take a look. That's right, Ampelosaurus right over here. I don't really know what the name means, so if you guys can help me out, do some Google and uh, comment down below, that will be really, really helpful. Okay, Malawi Saurus, you know, we have plenty of um, cool figures. Next up, another sauropod for you guys to know, Sotosaurus. Yes, this is known as the Sota Reptile or Sota Lizard. It basically has armor-like structure on its body as well. Very cool figure. This is from Safari LTD. So you can see we have plenty of different species of long neck dinosaurs, also known as sauropods. Next up, do we have another Brachiosaurus? Yes, we do have another one right here. And this is a meaty statue. Okay, it's a little bit, you know, dusty. So let me clean this with my uh, wet tissue, which I've used, um, you know, to clean off the slime and stuff. So this is the Brachiosaurus a mini Jurassic Park 1 is to 80 scale uh, mini statue. Looks really cool. Just gonna clean it. Remember to keep all your figures clean and neat. And yes, basically dust the dust off, you know, from time to time, okay? Next up, uh, let's take a look at another sauropod. What is this? I have no idea what this is. Um, if you, I can't really remember. It could be a Camptosaurus, let's see. Platyosaurus, I beg your pardon. Platyosaurus is actually known as a... Uh... Hmm, I can't remember the name. What does the name mean? There are too many sauropods. You know, these sauropods, we don't really get to see them very often, which is why I don't remember what is the name. What is the meaning of the name? But that is okay. Let's take a look at another one. Argentinosaurus is the Argentine lizard, one of the largest sauropods that you can find out there, okay? This is a nice um, figure from Collecte. I'll place it right over here. You can see our sauropods collection is actually getting really big. The Brachiosaurus is still very small right on um, the right hand side, but that is okay. We have another Brachiosaurus right here, and this is a mini version of the Brachiosaurus from Mojo Fun. Just gonna place it right over here. Beautiful. Next up, um, what about this one? Yes, we have two Brontosaurus, which I've bought by, you know, unintentionally. I bought it by accident, so I bought two of the similar figures, but I'm really happy. One actually belongs to Ariel, okay? Next up, what is this? Are you guys able to tell me? I think this should be a Camptosaurus. Let's see. Uh, Shunosaurus! <laughs> Shunosaurus, I beg your pardon. I think this was discovered in Japan, if I'm not wrong. Okay? A beautiful um, sauropod, but if you can see, it has a very unique tail. This tail actually contains some mini pebble-like structures which can be used as a defensive weapon as well. So very cool. So once this dinosaur swings its tail, it will be able to create you know, a very large impact with um, a huge force that can defend itself from predators. Next up, what is this? Yes, I think this is a Diplodocus. But this Diplodocus is really cool. It is able to stand on its hind legs and you can see the neck reaching all the way up to feed on leaves from a very, very tall tree. Okay, Diplodocus right over here. Diplodocus, you know, as what we have mentioned is actually known as the double beam. Okay, next up, let's take a look at another one. What is this? Another armored sauropod. How cool is this? Just check this out. I don't think carnivores are able to attack this sauropod easily because of the pebble-like structures on its body and of course its massive size. This is known as Paralititan, another huge sauropod. You can see we are basically running out of space on the left-hand side. This proves that our sauropod collection is really huge. It's getting massive. 
Okay, what about this one right here? This is actually a Cetiosaurus. Cetiosaurus is known as the river monster. It's actually a river monster. Very, very cool looking um, sauropod, which, you know, lived in the water as well for large amounts of time. Uh, next up, another beautiful Amagosaurus right over here. You can see the spikes, I mean, the spine bones are actually very different from the rest. They are actually pointing forward. I'm not too sure whether it's the, it's the wind or, you know, the, the spikes are just attacking. I'm not, not too sure. But a very, very cool representation of... Um, oh, I'm, I beg your pardon. This is not an Amagosaurus. I just saw the name right below. And it says, Bijadosaurus. Oh my goodness. Dan just made a mistake, a huge mistake. But that is fine. We all make mistakes and it's... You know, we should learn from our mistakes and this is known as a Bi Bijadosaurus. Okay, cool. I've, you know, completely forgotten about this species, but it's good that we have it in this video again. But probably I'll, you know, talk more about this dinosaur on Saturday. I'll come back with you, come back to you with more uh, information about this. And right over here, we have another different species. This is known as an Atlasaurus, and this is from Eofauna. What a beautiful um, figure you can see. I really love the paint scheme on top of his neck right over here. It's blue and it's like yellow stripes across the neck. Super awesome, super awesome. Okay, what is this? Let's take a look. Lufungosaurus is actually known as the Lufeng's lizard, another sauropod discovered in China. Well, places right over here, okay. Next up, a Jurassic Park sauropod. Pod sauropod, pod theropod. This is the Amaga spinosaurus, which is the Amagosaurus mixed with a Spinosaurus. So this is probably the most aggressive um, um, sauropod in this video because it has the DNA of the Spinosaurus as well, okay? I'm not too sure how I can actually move the jaw. Um, doesn't seem to be working. I can move the spines, but I can't really move the jaw. So probably it's damaged. I'm not too sure. I'll place this right over here because we are running out of space on the left hand side. Okay, next up, uh, let's take a look at another beautiful sauropod. This is the Diplodocus. Let's take a look. Wow, okay, this is basically the double beam. You can see the chevron bones right beneath and it has this really long and elegant tail it's like very curvy very flexible and all these thorns on top of its body all the way from the starting of the neck to the end almost the end of the tail okay next up i think it's time for us to open up another rack shall we let's open this up you know, I don't have high hopes. I don't have high hopes to actually get the Carnotaurus or to get um, Charlie Brumpy because I have been disappointed too, way too many times. Yes, I think that you guys are also extremely disappointed that you know we have yet to see the, the Carnotaurus and um, and when are we going to see it, guys? I think. We have got, I'm not too sure, I can't really tell. It could be something new, but I, I don't have high hopes. So let's open this up. Nah, we got a T-Rex. Oh my goodness. We have got many of these T-Rex already. Okay, I'll probably do a giveaway to um, all of you. Because we have so many of um, these mini dinosaurs to collect and I can probably send them to, to you pretty easily just in an envelope. The, the shipping shouldn't be too much. So I can probably do like a giveaway to 10 lucky winners really soon. Okay, um, yes. Next up, let's take a look at this one right here. I think this is an Apatosaurus, I'm not too sure. The way the neck is like pointing upwards is very weird because the Apatosaurus apparently doesn't really lift the neck up in such direction. 
Um, yes, so this is the uh, Patasaurus. So let me find a space to place this. Wow, you can see this table is getting super crowded. Next up, we have a mini Amagasaurus, and this is from a company known as Terra by Batet. I haven't got any um, figure from them, like, you know, for at least a couple of years. Probably like three to five years, I'm not too sure. Okay? Um, yes, and I want you guys to let me know how long have you been watching Dan Surprise? I mean, this channel has been around for seven years, and how many years have you been watching? Are you a subscriber? If you're not yet a subscriber, make sure you subscribe, okay? Because we upload dinosaur videos every single week, really epic dinosaur videos every single time. And what is this? Uh, Barapasaurus, Barapasaurus, or you can carry uh, Barapasaurus, Barapasaurus. This it's a um, dinosaur which is discovered in China as um, in India, I think. Very beautiful um, figure from Schleich. Just gonna place it right over here. Crazy collection. I think our sauropods are actually pretty, pretty impressive. I didn't know we have so many different sauropods. Okay, this is the Apatosaurus from um, Peppo, a very nicely detailed figure, really love this. You can see the tail, long and elegant, and this, the end of the tail is actually very, very soft and flexible. Really nice figure to have, really love this. Definitely one of my most favorite figures out there. Let's try to squeeze in the space for this Apatosaurus. Oh my goodness, the Atlasaurus has taken a fall because we are basically running out of space. Another impressive, majestic, elegant, amazing, wonderful figure of an Amagosaurus from PNSO. This figure actually comes with a platform, um, which is in a rock type. Um, it's a rock type base. It's beautiful. You can see a bit of shiny paint right over here. How incredible is that? Very well detailed. The paint work is amazing. I love this. Next up. Another Magosaurus, but this actually pale, pales a lot in difference as uh, compared to the Amagosaurus. This is basically the Amagosaurus from Peppo. This is definitely one of the Peppo less impressive works, okay? So Peppo, they are well known for making really highly detailed figures, but this time for this, uh, you know, Amagosaurus, they actually, um, you know, fall short. For, for this figure. Alright, I think we are left with three mini figures. Yes, just three of them. We have a Diplodocus right over here and a Patasaurus which looks so amazing. This Patasaurus has articulation which means movement in the neck and another Patasaurus with no articulation but with a dino damage right over here. Alright, so this completes concludes our sauropod collection video so just take a look stay tuned for saturday i'm gonna make sure that this brachiosaurus looks really cool you know on saturday it is still far from ready you can see the paint it's kind of messy the main reason is because we have ran out of yellow and orange paint that is the main reason yes i'm not kidding you i'm not kidding you okay but stay tuned for that i'm gonna do some um modifications probably gonna add some green onto the brachiosaurus and some stripes to make this sauropod look super amazing okay stay tuned on saturday you will see the completed level 40 brachiosaurus okay thanks for watching this Dinosaurs, make sure you subscribe if you are not yet a dinosaur. We are the biggest channel on YouTube focusing on dinosaurs, okay? So make sure you subscribe if you like dinosaurs. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video on Saturday. Please come back same time, 8 a.m. EST, 8 p.m. Um, Asia time, Singapore time, Hong Kong time, alright? Thanks for watching and goodbye.